you what's going on y'all it's chase more reviews here back at it again with another video uh closing up shop here with our last couple videos uh, on gtx <clears throat> battle of the bay 10 event um clearly right here gonna be doing the day two recap my top three most impressive and top three most disappointing performances um did top five for day one but not gonna lie day three uh, day two bogged down a little bit so i thought three and three would be better at highlighting just the top top guys uh on each side of the spectrum right um you know dope event overall though definitely had that grind time feel i'd say in like when you look at the event in totality uh they talked about bringing back legends i mean there's times i was watching i'm like this is a grind time battle there's no question about it even the battles that weren't that good still fit that ambiance right or the battles that isn't uh that aren't particularly you know what i'm saying for uh for my taste you know for what i like in battle rap um but without further ado as we usually do we're going to start out with the top three most disappointing and then move into the best performers of the night so kind of want to just get into some of those intermediate battles right before we hop on the disappointing list some of those battles that aren't going to be talked about as like the highs or the lows of the event everybody knows versus pedro only battle i was not able to catch um heard everybody knows one comedy based battle i'm sure it was some pure grind time stuff um, from there, Fredo and Yunnan. I had Fredo winning. was actually good to... I missed those two. was able to kept, catch Fredo and Yunnan when I was able to get back. Um, watch the VOD for it. Uh, good battle. Fredo cooking. Definitely his type of setting where he made his name off of in his day. I think really the only difference here, while a clear difference, is Yunnan's hard stumbles. Um, just makes it hard to debate it for him. But it's pretty good material both ways. Not mad at the battle. Marv won versus Lunar C. Um, Marv in about, you know... If, 70 80 percent you know what i'm saying going through the motions for the most part definitely had him winning uh lunar c had a uh you know it's it's a particular style and it's always going to have a little bit you know different adapting over here um i know but there were certain bars like he liked the cuck hold bar a couple of ones like that that i just they weren't really landed for me uh definitely i you know it, <laughs> no pun intended but not my cup of tea for the most part uh great to see a legend show out he's a million view machine where he comes from but had marv winning the battle pretty clearly um outside of the round that he choked I believe it was the second or the third that he had a choke um and then outside of that uh for the Oh, one last battle to talk about, um, and another classic that GTX has delivered, a classic attack on hip-hop, uh, between Ryan F Viafora and Frank Stax, which, you know, when it comes to these battles, they don't really make the disappointing list for me, um, because I didn't have expectations like that. I saw a man with a white beard and white hair and a curled mustache, I already know what Frank Stax is about, you know what I'm saying, from back in the grind time days, so, like, it, it's... If we did a top three worst or most bizarre, it would be something to talk about. Disappointed. I can't be disappointed if I did not expect more. Um, and with all that being said, that does kind of cover everything that isn't, you know what I'm saying, on either side. And we can get into my picks for the top three most disappointing performers of the night. And at number three, someone that actually did good. Their performance was good. But I have to be honest, the result for them, uh, although I did predict events them going in, was disappointing, and that is A Ward. Now, A Ward was probably one of the five or six best performers on the card. So I don't want to seem disingenuous, like how can he end up here and and here? And I believe that's because of the result. Um, I did have him clearly losing his battle to frack uh, i think that he you could really argue and he probably even did win the second um i think at a point frack had the second locked up and then kind of overwrapped a little bit um hit like a weird stumbly part on the second half and it was kind of really almost unnecessary right if he cuts the round a minute earlier i think it would be even clearer for him but i did have ward pretty clearly losing the first and third of this battle um and especially as we talked the second and the third i thought the way he started with the freestyling hurt him a lot too um very disorganized for a guy that you could really consider the best you know what I'm saying rebuttaler and freestyler in the world but in a way just seemed and listen he, he's a busy man he, he's talked to he's a lot of big battles coming up verb obviously is his as talked about as it gets we hear about it every day from 9 a.m to 5 it's like listening to the promo for it is a job they just talk about it all day um but uh, it, there's no question that a result like this where I thought Frack, I mean, I had Frack 2-1 coming in. I think Ward put up a good fight, but I'm seeing some people say like the first is close or the third is close. And I think his third is really good. I think he probably, you know what I'm saying, did win the second. Um, 
full breakdown, you know what I'm saying? I, we'll, we'll be on the way for it. I, I did say that this one is going to get a more in-depth bar-for-bar review, uh, but overall, can't have a result like that. The way he was starting on his rounds kind of showed like he was losing a little bit of confidence as he goes on, and while he was one of the better performers of the card, there's no question, in my opinion, he came out on the losing end of a battle that many of us really were feeling like Ward might have to win here momentum-wise. Doesn't change how I feel about the Ward-Verb battle. Still have Ward winning that very clearly, but I... It's time to lock all the way in because that performance obviously wouldn't do it. From there, we can get into number two, which is QP. Uh, and I think you could put QP at number one. I'm seeing some people try to give him the battle uh, versus Soulcon. And, and I just think that it's wrong. Um, there's always this talk about QP being such a genius. And while there is that creative wit, um, he has horrific delivery. Um, a lot of times, it, some of it is even just kind of silly, horrifically paced. And I'm, and after a first round angle accusing him of being a pedophile, he goes and doubles down at the beginning of the second. If any of you have QP winning, no. Nah, I just, I don't have it in me. I think it's weird. I think, uh, like, doubling down or whatever, it's not funny. It's fucking weird. Um, I don't think that he rapped that good to begin with. I think he just lost material-wise as it is. Uh, Soul Con, in my opinion, probably lost the third. You know what I'm saying? Chokes in the third, so... I can't, I can't get around that, but might as well have it as a 30. Uh, I think while QP is all this for being a ghostwriter uh, and, and this and that about talent, I don't think he's actually ever been a good battle rapper. He's never put it together to really put together good years in his career. Uh, but just really a waste of talent and... and and just not good. I had him clearly winning this battle coming in, but was very, very surprised. And Soulcon isn't going to make my top three performers list, but Soulcon really was one of the shocking performances on the card after a heinous <laughs> opener to the battle. For those that saw the opening of the first, um, they'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, definitely playing off the whole bisexuality and living his truth, you know what I'm saying? But definitely some shock value bars in that first round. But from there on out, uh, uses the, the the pedophile angle which you know i guess qp doubled down on it so it's true which is disgusting uh but clearly wins the first in my opinion then goes on to clearly win the second and really has the bigger moments and in, in that matter in the third and probably the choke is the only thing that'll stop that from being a straight up 30 um so definitely qp on the most disappointing performers would love if he really didn't get booked again i think that would be fantastic and then you get to the number one um least uh my number one for most disappointing performer of the night who kind of got put in a funny situation so it's kind of uh, messed up the way it came out but i do have active active battled crit mac now we know we were expecting just an absolute shit show this wasn't and i'll tell you what uh crit mac at times failed to rhyme you know what i'm saying though it wasn't the most coherent uh but he just kicked it. First of all, he broke no bars. He just he just pulled up freestyling. And it really should have just been, like, even if Active just jokes around, he wins. But Active goes, and he has two egregious chokes of the second and third round. Um, actually, he had a really good first, which is the funniest part of all this. He had a really good first. Not, like, winning against Crit Back matters, but, like, just watching his first was dope. Uh, and the Crit Back novelty was funny. In the second, Crit Mac lands two haymakers by accident. He says, I'm from a small town where we really get active, which is hilarious. Um, then he did a dance, yo, performance bar up there. For those of you that have seen it, 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 it got ridiculous. But in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it wasn't really, like, good battle rapping, but it was funny. It was novelty. And then the other guy chokes, like, 45 seconds into his round. And then you get into the third round, and it's not very coherent. It's not like Crip Max really landing punches. It's fucking Crip Mac rapping. I'm sure y'all know what was going on on the screen. But Active really doesn't say anything going at him in the third and then chokes like a minute in. So kind of losing to Crip Mac. I feel like you got to be number one. <laughs> I know it was a joking situation at the end of the day. Um, I don't really think it's going to have the craziest downfall or anything like that. But in a weird way, there's a genuine argument that Crip Mac won without really rap like rhyming gotta be number one on the most disappointing list man so these are uh had to address this uh you know what i'm saying active um funny enough for the for kind of almost like the meme of it uh qp absolutely not doing that and then a ward man really was one of the better performers in the car but i feel like inevitably you know what i'm saying taking a loss to frack in this situation disappointment especially the way he was kind of his body language was going through it like i said still think he's gonna beat verb um but a tough look for him and now more positively it's my top three and most impressive performers of the night so starting out for the top three performers at the night uh almost pretty easy for me to select and at number three i do have 
Pass. Now, I thought Pass and Reed had a really good chance of being like a dark horse contender for Battle of the Night. The way that they run, uh, just are great pure rappers and how pure rapping is appreciated on grind time um, and thought it would be appreciated in that GTX room. And it was. Um, I definitely went into the battle having Reed 2 1. Might have been more of an emotional pick than a logical one. Um, even that, you know, Reed just gets all types of great wins, but it's almost like these like random, like, I'm not going to say Pass is a random battle, very respectable opponent, but Reed will really like show up for like the wills and the nitty like these huge opportunities you're more likely actually to get a good read than a bad one but when it's just a regular battle still a top tier battler but not like crazy hard you get a pretty intermediate read a lot and i thought here reed stuck to the time limits which is what really hurt him really liked his second 90 second rounds my clip spit longer than that um and it's a decent read his third is pretty decent but pass really just not only wrapped over time like everyone else in the card really if you wrap the 90 second time limit you were kind of in the minority, which is insane. Um, but even with the longer rounds, even if it was 90 seconds, I think pass with a one. Really, really fluid rhyming all the way around. The rebuttal in the third, I remember Reed said, how how's a Philly cat make an A's hat more popping than you? And he said, you wearing an A's hat your whole career just means you already know what it's like to have Oakland on your head. Fire, really fire by pass, fire rhyme pockets. I'm a legend for what what I did, what I'm doing now, what I'm gonna do. Just like it when he gets in that bag where it's not just like punchline but it's just, it's really real shit. He kicks real shit, you know what I'm saying? While being one of the better pure rappers in the game. And when you get a pass performance like this, like he randomly has the JCs, the ill wills, uh, he has tons of, I always say about pass, he's got some really bad losses. He's got some really, really good wins. A hard talent to judge, but the good thing is you get a great pass in this scenario. I think he said it might be one of his best performances ever, which I think is dope. Um, two, one, if not three over Reed, really, really good showing from him. At number two, main event, someone I did not have, I uh, think I would have up here, and I think the results aren't going to do him justice for what I'm seeing online, but I do have Thesaurus. Um, Thesaurus versus Hollow in the main event. Another battle I am thinking about reviewing due to the fact I'm seeing a lot of debate on it. Um, good battle, entertaining, uh, and I did in the, coming into this battle, although the source is the one that's headlined all the, all the battle of the bays, right? And this is really his type of setting. I did a hollow winning coming in. I see many people have hollow winning after the battle, but for me, I, I pretty comfortably had the source winning the first two rounds of this battle. Um, I think hollow's energy and pace reminded me more of his DNA battle and some of his other good showings I've seen recently. Uh, kind of like a lack of energy, almost like he didn't want to be there at times, it felt like. Uh, or, or that's not even like a fair thing to say because he has his moments, you know what I'm saying? I think his second is decent. I think he clearly won the third at that, you know what I'm saying? Pretty good third. Thesaurus kind of tails off in the third, but specifically in the second, but both rounds. I think Thesaurus just is uh, just back-to-back -back punching for the most part, getting in his bag without any really stumbles or any of that up until the third round. Uh, love the saline bar at the beginning of his second. I mean, I feel like he won this. I'm seeing most people say that got hollow, saying hollow second and third i don't know how you got hollow in the second i don't know how you have hollow in the second love the source the second it's really shocking to me because i expected the source to be a little bit more air balls a little bit more stumbles and hollow really clearly to take it um but in those first two rounds i think one guy looked a lot more locked in than the other i thought it was some of the some of the sources better just straight punch lining that i've seen in some time not really any choking until the third he didn't really choke it's just you could tell it's a little stumbly still got most of his concept out really good showing from the legend maybe it'll be one of the last like really competitive in a high level scenario uh, situation showings that we get from thesaurus um but overall like i said impressed with his performance personally had him winning the first and second pretty comfortably and for me was runner up for the best performer of the night and that leaves us with my number one pick for performer of the night which you may have guessed up to this point and that is frack uh really uh what can you say about frack man i've been talking about it for a minute what he just operates outside of the box of a lot of different attacks that you can take it's hard to get too tough with them because he's got some comedy to him it just doesn't hit like that it's hard to get too personal and angle with him because he's really good at even taking the smallest thing and making angles out of it i tweeted about it while watching the event he had an angle about how ward like when he's doing setups he punches his hand really hard um and did a whole angle around it with a bit of comedy, actually some hard hitting bars. And it just goes to show it's a very, it's a lot of attention to detail. Uh, definitely a strategist uh, when it comes to this, his approaches, the way everything's broken down. I think in his second, like I said, the one thing I'll take away is that I think he overwrapped in the second, started stumbling, it got a little weird towards the end and totally understand. And even the more, I, when I was able to watch it back, I really do feel like Ward got that second, um, 
but I, I like Frack second, but like I said, I think he had it clear and then wrapped himself out of it, which is a strange situation to be in, but his third is great, even against a great A Ward third. I think he clearly took the third round of the battle, and I had him pretty clearly taking the first round of the battle uh, at that, with the second being pretty close, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I had Frack Gentlemen's at first, similar to the Rex and um, Big K battle. I'm, I'm taking a step back on that one. I do have Frack 2-1. Uh, but the fact that he did end up with that much of a, of a good result and that people can't argue um, the possible gentlemen's to me just goes to show how like how good Frack has become. Danny, Diz, Ward, he's showing up versus some of the best. We'd like to see him in different settings. I think Ward touched on that good with the Western, uh, you know, battling in the West. I would love to see, you know, Frack did become active, what he could do, because I've been saying it, Little Sharon 2.0-ish, man. He's hard to land material against, but yet he's putting out a lot of input of good material, and that's a, it's a hard situation to be in when your opponent is able to kind of deflect a lot of your attacks while still landing extreme angles, punch lines, freestyles. Clearly out rebuttal Ward in this battle. I mean, for many, many different reasons, Frack was extremely impressive and to me was the best performer on day two in the battle that everyone was looking forward to. And that is, you know, my full list here, each side for top three most disappointing, top three most impressive performers. Like I said, frack and word review I want to get out. Hopefully I'll get it out maybe later today. Maybe I put it out tomorrow. I don't think about doing a thesaurus and hollow review. Hopefully I want to get this recap, both of those, check out Let's Talk Battle Rap, uh, dot com. We are going to be putting out the, the re recap article in the coming days, um, going over both days of the event. So tons and tons of coverage across the board on GTX. And I would love for you guys to let me know in the comments down below, between both days, what was your favorite performances, favorite battles, favorite moments? Just let me know your highlights of the card, any big takeaways you have. Now, I know a lot of the battles were unserious. A lot of them, uh, as I've said, and I will say time and time again with this card, a lot of them were attacks on hip hop. There with some battles here that we know were ridiculous grind time stuff um and won't really be universally appreciated uh but it was fun I, I can't lie watching the event was fun it looked fun in the building multiple people called it musty which is hilarious i saw marv tweet that i don't know what was going on it was just some real deep deep grind time stuff and it's not going to be for everyone but i can appreciate a lot of the fun that it brought and the top battles on day one and day two were good uh so so there's definitely great things to pull away and a great way to kick off the stretch of mega events it's the first real big time event got sm next rb chrome after that and i think so far we're, we're, we're batting around one for one you know what i'm saying i'm not anyone saying it's a miss but i think the top battles were good and as long as the the, the big big battles come through the event comes through for me so it's been jay small reviews again y'all like comment subscribe as i said let me know your highs some of your best moments from the gtx event i'm gonna catch you on the next one man peace